Hey folks, this is Kalani. I've been poking around the beta now for a long while, throwing out videos about this, that and the other, but I've always been on the lookout for any hint as to what I might enjoy playing the most in Legion. My hunter may get left by the wayside, sadly, because I've found some really good reasons to play some other classes. There are three that make my top few for a variety of reasons, so let's look at the best and most fun classes to play when Legion launches. Bear in mind that practically all of this video is going to be opinion. This is what I think and feel from experiencing the current changes to classes. Seeing as we're still in beta, a lot of this info could change or be irrelevant by the time launch comes. For a heads up, the things that I've been looking for and enjoying have been how the class feels, how many choices they have with specs and talents, how those choices change how you play, how interesting the artifact is and how they complement the spec as a whole. I'm also a sucker for damage and lots of it, so that may sway me one way or another. With that disclaimer, out of the way, let's have a look at the best classes, and remember, these are my opinions. My third favourite class so far, and the third most fun to play, has to be Druid. The sheer number of choices you have as Druid give it a bit of a free pass. They have the most specs in the game, which all play differently, as well as the choice to be a melee or a ranged DPS. Bear is shaping up to be a fun tank to play, as well as a useful addition to any team. And did I mention you have new skins for your forms based on your artifact? Because that's pretty damn awesome too. The new forms are some of the best looking models in the game and are exactly what Druid players have wanted since the first remodel of the old cat forms. Speaking of cat form, Feral seems to be somewhat similar to what we have now, with the new models and animations, but the talents make for some interesting changes. This time around, talents truly change how you play your class and spec. Ferals can focus onto more bleeds and dots or direct damage, burst or sustain DPS, and can even become a pseudo-ranged kitty, adding 5 yards to all of your melee abilities. This specific talent row lets you choose the range mentioned and even get boomkin spells, damage reduction with bear abilities, or the powers of a resto druid. Basically, druids are the first class to return to a true hybrid class. No matter what your spec, you can choose to have some abilities of one other. It's going to be fun playing around with the possibilities. While Boomkin isn't my favourite spec by far, it also has some new interesting spells which catch even my eye. The spec is moving away from the seesaw gameplay of the Eclipse model and uses Astral Power instead. This shiny new resource powers some of your most potent abilities, including a massive solar laser from space. You can also bring the moon crashing down to Azeroth, which makes for a cool visual effect. Resto is shaping up to be the master of all hots. It seems like there's a stronger focus on heal over time abilities with your artifact revolving entirely around them, making them tick faster, giving every hot you have active extra duration, and some of the abilities that don't provide a hot, well, now they provide a hot too. You can also talent for a two minute tranquility, making sure you're on top for the entire fight. And remember that hybrid talent to take other specs abilities? Yup, if you get bored, you can pop into Boomkin to do DPS, launch yourself at the target as a little kitty cat, or double down as tank healer combo and do it all yourself. All in all, druids seem like they're going to be very powerful and wanted in every group. This time around, if you're unsure at all which role you want to play, or feel like you want to poke around with every role on offer, Druid is going to be your go-to class. Swap from a bear to a boomy anytime, anywhere, skip every queue possible with every role available, and laugh at the DPS as they tab out to play Hearthstone. You even gain access to the Emerald Dreamways, allowing you to teleport to any druidic place of power. Your class hall, Grizzly Hills, Mount Hyjal, the Hinterlands, Duskwood, Moonglade, and Feralus. If that's not a neat little trick, I don't know what is. The only issue I see with Druid is that with four specs available, you'll need to hunt down and maintain four artifacts to stay relevant with every spec. A hard task, even for those of us with plenty of time on our hands. My second most fun, and most likely to become my main for Legion, would be the Demon Hunter. Now, some of you are probably shocked. Demon Hunter isn't first. I've got a few reasons, but just because they're not first doesn't mean they're not fun to play. Quite the contrary, every time I log into my Demon Hunter on the beta, I question why I ever logged off. Everything is a blast, from the abilities and animations to the mobility and lore. Double jump off a cliff and glide for a few miles on your demon wings. You also get the most customization out of any race ever. There are skin textures, horns, glowing eyes and blindfolds, tattoos and even tattoo colours. It's crazy. Playing a Demon Hunter, especially after reading the Illidan novel, feels like a fully fleshed out class fantasy. You know what you are, and the demonic fight from all of your abilities just reinforces the fact. Illidan brought Night Elves and Blood Elves together under one banner for one purpose. To fight at the demons who destroyed their home in the first Legion invasion. Seeking vengeance, these special few struggled and suffered through training meant to break the weak. 
For every 10 elves who went into the first trial, defeating a summon demon one-on-one -on -one and consuming its flesh, ichor and essence, only one or two were expected to survive. Their journey had only begun, however, maintaining control over the fell energy, saturating their flesh and staining control of their own minds would prove too much for many, and the demon essence they consumed tried to consume the demon hunters in turn. Their life was and is an internal struggle every day, but the rewards for their efforts were beyond parallel. You are a demon hunter, trained and moulded into a weapon to destroy the Burning Legion. You are a freaking mini Illidan, for God's sake. You can dash around the battlefield, slaughter any anything in your path and gather up a bunch of unlucky monsters and unleash your eye beams to blast them all to smithereens. Only having two specs doesn't hold them back too much either. I'm not sure how another DPS spec for Demon Hunters would really play without significant overlap, which is totally fine, and their DPS spec uses war glaives to slice and dice enemies with a variety of abilities, though eye beams seems to be the majority of your damage. But, since you can't move while casting eye beam you'll need to time your execution so that you won't die by standing in fire, or lose damage when a boss moves. Playing smart with your abilities will distinguish you from the rabble. If you really want to be the best and make sure everyone knows it, tanking as a demon hunter may be the best way to do it. It's quite unique. It's almost like tanking as a caster instead of a melee. There are a lot of rune and sigil spells which target areas of the ground instead of your primary target. You also have a ton of utility in those same spells, allowing you to AoE chain, silence, burn and stomp your foes. There's also an interesting mechanic similar to the Brewmaster Monk's personal orbs. You can shatter parts of your enemy's soul. These fragments float around the game space and can be absorbed for a huge chunk of health by using certain abilities. It seems to be kind of the same, yet still be an improvement and match the class fantasy. And of course, both specs have the one spell which made Demonology Warlock so cool for so long, Metamorphosis. The main reason Demon Hunters aren't first for me is I feel they'll end up being my main alt more than my main tune. While the DPS spec has a lot of spells, quite a few of them are AoE, leaving yourself with just a handful of abilities when it comes to single target fights. There will also be so many Demon Hunters running around, making it more difficult to get a spot in raids. If I end up enjoying tanking as my main role, I'll probably go with Demon Hunter, otherwise we're on to my final pick, which is currently my most enjoyed class in Legion right now. So what can beat the newest class on the block? It's actually an old favourite, Shaman. Now before you all throw your pitchforks at me screaming Thrall is a phony, I can tell you overthrowing Green Jesus is pretty awesome. You basically steal his hammer too. While Elemental seems to be somewhat the same, a very typical cast of range DPS with most of the clunkiness taken out, it also has some nice changes and improvements, like using Maelstrom as a resource. One of its most prominent uses is to charge up your Earthshock to deal extra damage. It works the same way as charging up stacks of Lightning Shield, except now you fill up a bar like everyone else. Elemental Shamans also have a really cool artifact, the Fist of Raden. You can raise it high to supercharge your lightning bolts and it augments all of your elemental calling powers. Restoration is where Shaman really starts to shine. You have a well-balanced toolkit of healing spells, strong heal over time, single target and AoE healing. You have a choice of 10 totems, which are all useful in their own ways. You have your usual spirit link, healing stream and of course healing tide totem, but you can choose to add an AoE stun totem into the mix, a totem which redirects a portion of the damage people take to itself, and even a totem which provides the raid with an extra 10% max health and will act as a battle res for one person if someone should die. The available talents allow you to focus on how you want to play, whether you want to be a totem machine as mentioned before, being the healer who can pick up the entire raid when they go low, or the tank's best friend who not only keeps them healthy but gives them a helping hand with health and damage reduction buffs. They even retain some of their damage abilities from elemental, giving you the option to go offensive if you get bored. All in all, it seems like shamans can do it all when it comes to healing. In all honesty, these two specs could not be here for all I care. Enhancement feels like home, and it is the main combatant for the attention I thought would be going straight into Demon Hunter. Playing enhancement is what playing a melee character should be. There's barely any downtime where you don't have a button to push. You can choose more passive effects or active effects in your talents, giving you a large variety of buffs and power-ups to keep active, and the Doomhammer lends itself perfectly to the destruction. Your base ability from the Doomhammer guarantees Wind Fury procs and increases the damage of Wind Fury through the roof. Honestly, I think half the enjoyment I get from Enhancement is destroying everything in my path. You have a hard-hitting ability on a short cooldown in Stormstrike, then one filler to generate your Maelstrom and another filler to spend any excess. That means you always have something to do. 
Add in your Flame Tongue weapon buff, cleave damage from Crash Lightning, which also makes your Storm Strikes and Lava Lashes cleave, and your trusty Feral Spirits to really bring the damage if things get serious and you have a solid base to work with. It's not just personal damage either. Storm Lash is a buff that can spread to several allies, which deals damage when they auto-attack, giving them a helping hand. As you unlock more of your artifact's power, you'll start heaving Molten Earth and Lightning Spikes at your enemies when you Storm Strike, and throw mini Flaming Tornadoes that chase your target when you Lava Lash. Your Doom Wolves even become empowered with the elements. After playing all the classes while leveling and experimenting with their current DPS potential, it would seem like Enhancement Shaman is heads and tails above the rest, unless I am just playing the others wrong, which is entirely possible. As with Restoration, there's plenty of utility in the form of AoE stuns, AoE hexes, or even AoE healing. You can have a water puddle of your own as enhancement, and using your main damaging abilities actually extends its duration. You can throw a puddle on the floor to heal all the melee, and only need to refresh it every 40 seconds. I told you I'm a sucker for damage, and it seems like Shaman is currently the way to go if you share my weakness. Remember that only one tuning pass has gone by, meaning numbers are definitely not final, and I will be severely disappointed if enhancement is nerfed into the ground, but I think it's more about their toolkit than the damage they deal. A lot of enhancement is the small buffs to damage and auto swings, all those weapon buffs add up, especially when wind fury procs. It feels like you're bringing all these small building blocks together to deal a huge amount of damage, and it makes playing the specs so satisfying. So, that's my current outlook on the best classes to play for Legion. At this point, I'm a little sad my hunter might get thrown to the side, but I would never encourage anyone to play something they don't enjoy, so I wouldn't either. So it may be time for a change. How about you? Are you going to commit to your main no matter what Legion brings, or are some other classes looking tempting with their shiny weapons and new changes? Let me know what you'll be playing for Legion down below. If you have any questions or queries, or want to see anything specific from the Legion beta, leave that down below as well, and I'll do my best. Remember to leave a like just below the video before you leave, and if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching folks, good luck and have fun, and as always, I will see you next time. Playing a demon hunter, especially after reading the Illidan novel, feels like a fully fleshed out... What's up? Does it... is demon hunter good? Yeah? <laughs>